we have various types of losses the first important loss is your interception loss interception loss means the the out of the total rainfall that is coming from the atmosphere the some portion of rainfall is intercepted by tall objects buildings trees etc such kind of loss we call it as interception loss next after the interception loss we have one more loss which is evaporation loss that means once the rainfall is coming on to the atmosphere some portion of water gets evaporated again the evaporated water com comes in the form of rainfall onto the earth that means it's a cycle so evaporation means the rain rain water which is being evaporated we call it as evaporation next you have transpiration transpiration means the water that is captured by the leaves of the plants and is evaporated again back to the atmosphere so transpiration means evaporation from the plants that means evaporation from the leaves of the plants in the leaves of the plants we have some micro openings so called stomatal openings these stomatal openings are going to capture some portion of water this captured water again goes into the atmosphere in the form of evaporation therefore evaporation from plants is known as transpiration and the combination of this evaporation and transpiration is known as evapotranspiration and in this topic we can expect some questions on evaporation that means how to work out the evaporation how much amount of water is being evaporated from the total rainfall now you can also expect some questions of evaporation like what are the various factors affecting evaporation that means as the temperature increases how do the evaporation take place evaporation increases with respect to altitude with respect to various other factors so the most important kind of question is the factors affecting evaporation next we have one more thing that is water balance equation we can, i am assuming there is some rainfall falling in a river or else in a lake i am assuming sigma i or else in a catchment area sigma i minus sigma o is equal to plus or minus delta s this is an important equation on which you can expect equations in gate from evaporation sigma i means all the inputs that means whatever the rainfall or else the, that means is it the rainfall or else from any other stream that is coming into the catchment area or else into the lake let's assume this to be a lake or a river so whatever the rainfall which is coming in the form of input whatever the water which is coming in the form of input to the lake we call it as summation of all the inputs minus summation of all the outputs that means whatever is going away it can be flow away flow water flow away from the lake or else it can be evaporation upwards it can be any other thing okay so from this you can work out the evaporation by using this and plus or minus delta s plus delta s delta s means the change in storage plus delta s means whenever you have the uh, le water level in the lake more than the initial level we have plus delta s and whenever you have the water level in the lake less than the initial water level we take it as minus delta s so using this equation we can work out evaporation and next i want to tell you one more thing the summation of evaporation and transpiration is known as evapo transpiration we have some chances of questions on evapotranspiration also in gate and psu exams like how to measure evapotranspiration evapotranspiration is measured by instrument no so called lyse meter and also we have some equations for the measurement of evapotranspiration which occurs uh, very rarely in gate exam like penman's equation blaney credel's equation those so these two important equations are also to be focused in gate as well as esc and uh, what do you mean by isopleths isopleths means the line joining points of equal potential evapotranspiration so till now we have discussed about iso height iso nif as well as isopleth isopleth stands for line joining points of equal potential evapotranspiration potential evapotranspiration is denoted by pet potential evapotranspiration that means what potential means what is the maximum evapotranspiration that can take place and one more point i want to discuss here is transpiration is fixed to daylight hours that means transpiration occurs only during photosynthesis photosynthesis occurs in the presence of sunlight only so no photosynthesis is going to occur during the night time therefore no transpiration is going to occur during the night time therefore this is an important bit in gate and esc theoretical questions like transpiration is fixed to daylight hours only no transpiration is going to occur during the night time